بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم today we will have case quiz number two case data 32 years old female with history of traveling abroad there is no consanguinity the onset so acute and the recurrent general symptoms is flu like symptoms so there is acute and recurrent flu like symptoms associated with fatigue and the malaise with headache musculoskeletal examination so painful hands with no arthritis so there is polyarthralgia of the hands with no definite arthritis with bilateral knee arthritis so the knee has arthritis have arthritis but the hands had uh, been uh, with no true arthritis this uh, painful hand responds well to non anti-inflammatory drugs or paracetamol only in the first attacks of the disease but with the recurrence of uh, arthritis or arthralgia uh, the response to non and the paracetamol decreased there is weakness of facial muscles left lower motor facial palsy skin shows large signal, uh, single circular rash over the back of the left knee investigations ESR was shooting 110 CRB also shooting 96 rheumatoid factor negative anti CCB negative ANA negative urine normal so this case has bilateral knee arthritis with bilateral hand arthralgia recurrent flu-like symptoms with fatigue and malaise headache shooting ESR and CRB but uh, with a, a single rash over the back of the left knee but with negative serology RF and CB ANA all were negative and finally CBC show leukocytosis So what is the diagnosis? As I said in the previous video, you can relax here, you can stop this video here and search for the answer before you before you return and know the answer. And the answer is What is this? Yes. Remember that there is travel abroad, yes, so it is, yes, it is Lyme disease, of course, Lyme disease. Lyme disease. The combination of rash leading to arthralgia and cranial neuropathy is a classic presentation of Lyme disease. It is a multi-system disease caused by infection with tick-borne spirochete Borrelia burgdorferi. The exude tick commonly lives and, uh, on deer and is endemic in parts of the United States including Wisconsin as in this case Lyme disease has three clinical stages stage one localized cutaneous disease classic sites for the tick to bite are warm moist areas like the back of the knee axilla and under the breast however the tick is very small and only half of the patients with, with clear cut Lyme disease may remember the bite because it is very small uh, insect the characteristic rash called erythema uh, chron chronicum uh, migrans developed from the bite first as macule and then spreading annular lesion with central cleaning uh, clearing this stage is associated with constitutional upset such as fever and lymphadenopathy 
sorry, uh, fever and lymphadenopathy uh, are not uncommon. Not uncommon means not common, but also not rare. Uh, the word not uncommon it is uh, mid uh, uh, distance between common and rare. Arthralgia rather than arthritis is also a feature. Stage one tends to last few weeks. Stage two is disseminated disease, characteristically occur with, within few months of the rash and is dominated by neurological syndromes. The most common presentation are cranial neuropathy, particularly the seventh cranial nerve, as in our case, headaches, meningoencephalopathies or encephalitis, and uh, mononeuritis multiplex. And uh, I suppose you know the difference between mononeuropathy, polyneuropathy, and the mononeuritis multiplex. Mononeuritis multiplex means uh, more than one nerve in the same limb, such as median and ulnar of the same hand. Cardiac manifestations include heart block and uh, myocarditis. Although astralgia and the periarticular disease are not uncommon, true synovitis occur only in the stage 3 of the disease. Stage 3 produces chronic infection up to ye uh, 2 years after the initial infection and lead to asymmetrical oligoarthritis, particularly at the knee, and may be misdiagnosed uh, with uh, uh, other autoimmune diseases such as uh, say negative spondylar arthropathy or juvenile idiopathic arthritis in uh, the children or even rheumatoid arthritis. Diagnosis of Lyme disease is based on the clinical picture of anthropological evidence of antibodies to Borrelia, but test results are complicated by a high rate of false positives in endemic areas and the false negative in early disease. So, in endemic areas, the, the test may be false positive. This means that the patient was already uh, exposed to this uh, Borrelia before, but it is not the case for this current uh, condition. Uh, the same uh, may be uh, supposed for uh, rheumatic fever in our locality in Middle East. Uh, in our locality, uh, the uh, positive ASOT does not mean that this patient has rheumatic fever because uh, the infection of uh, streptococcal infection is very common and so ASOT is not uh, a diagnosis or not specific for current in, uh, rheumatic fever. The same here, uh, in endemic areas false positive is common and the opposite false negative is common in early disease. The prompt use of antibiotics in stage 1 may also diminish diagnostic yield. BCR however can detect Borrelia DNA in blood, cranial fluid and tissues and also in the cerebrospinal fluid. Treatment The treatment of Lyme disease is antibiotic therapy. The dose and route of administration depending on the stage and the severity of the disease. Second and the third generation cephalosporin tend to be the treatment of choice with oral courses of up to one month, not uh, for one week, not ten days. They hear the treatment should be expanded to up to one month for continuous disease alone and intravenous regimen for disseminated diseases, but expert advice should be sought from microbiological services. Localized joint disease may respond well to intraarticular injection, cyanovectomy, or hydroxychloroquine in addition to antimicrobial therapy. And finally, thank you very much for attendance. And we will meet you uh, tomorrow with case quiz number three. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.